With all due respect, Mr. Reynolds, you have seriously, if not dangerously, misjudged this situation. You have underestimated Simmons and Jenkins' tenacity. They saved each other's lives before now. I was an idiot to go along with this. Richard, this can all be resolved. You promised me you would get the job done, and that job was to help me mould Simmons into what I need him for. That was the deal. I didn't expect Jenkins to go snooping around and finding out about my involvement. If he releases that information, I'm finished. Our evidence which links Simmons to your plan to kill Jenkins is useless now. Richard, please. It can all be fixed. Just get the document back. I will, don't worry. I've sent a man out to trade our document with the one that Jenkins possesses. Then this whole affair is finished with. Permanently. You did what? Richard, please. We had a deal. That's Mr. Burbank to you, Reynolds, and the deal is off. Goodbye. Make sure our man gets to Jenkins as soon as possible. I can't afford any more mistakes. Oh, Mosley. Give me Charles Jenkins' number. I warned you, Reynolds. I told you this would happen. Burbank is a fool, and he will pay for this behaviour with his life. Brooke and Meyer will have to step things up at his end. Put the pressure on Jenkins. He is with Simmons. It could prove difficult. Once again, you underestimate my reach, Thomas. I will deal with it. I have Burbank's man here. He's not in possession of the document. You don't have to worry about that. Burbank walked out only an hour ago. I'm impressed you acted so quickly. My investment in you seems to be paying dividends. Burbank is weak. Once Jenkins had me steal the evidence against him, I knew he'd bail. They'll realise something is wrong soon, my friend. Stall Jenkins and Simmons for as long as you can. We've cast the line and now we need to reel them in. As for Burbank's man, leave no trace that he arrived. Certainly. I'll leave the rest in your capable hands. Charles Jenkins. Charles Jenkins. First of all, I'd like to apologise for the current situation. Save it, Burbank. I'm in no mood to talk to you right now. You tried to have me killed. Don't speak to me like that, Charles. If it wasn't for me, you would be dead already. Oh, really? And why is that? You have no idea what you're involved in, Charles, and neither does Simmons. I'm the middle man here, and though it pains me to say it, I need your help. I'm in too deep. The people I work for still want Simmons to kill you, and one way or another, they have their way. Always. Burbank, I see no reason to help you right now. And it's Jenkins to you. You and Simmons need to meet me at my house. We are running out of time. I sent a man named Dame Blackwood over, but I haven't heard from him yet. I just got a message from him saying he was on his way. I didn't give him your number. That's impossible. It's not from him, then. Someone else sent it. If that's the case, then we presume the worst. He's dead. Get here as soon as you can. Our options are running out fast. Tell no one where you're going. Right. We'll be there. It seems to me that Burbank's a puppet to someone else, and now he's walked out, so he's a marked man. Follow me. Ah, Brookmar. Mr. Jenkins, where were you headed? Uh, we were just off to get some papers for the uh, European ambassador position. I uh, think you should let me collect them. It's not safe yet. No, it's much better if I go in person. They know me there. No, no, I won't let you. Ah. Sit down. Sit down now. And you on the floor. It's not gonna on the floor now. Really Do it. <laughs> Honestly, Brokma, I thought you knew me better than that. Well, back 
in action once again, Simmons. Dispose of the body. Where are you going? I'll be in the car. I hope Burbank isn't going to be a problem. My man on the ground, Brookmire, is dealing with the agent, he said. Burbank will be dealt with before Simmons and Jenkins arrive. They're on their way. I asked Brookmire to stall them. He's dead, sir. Jenkins called Burbank a couple of hours ago. Simmons killed him. Well, that's a start. Let me know when your part is done. I will. There's no question of failure. Don't make the same mistake as Burbank. Jenkins, this isn't a good idea. You better stay in the car, you've either got experience in the field. Look, Simmons, I know that when you were here last time, Burbank double-crossed you. And I won't deny that there's a very good chance of that happening again. But we have to take a calculated risk here. We go in, we trade the document with Burbank, and then we leave. That's it. Jenkins. Glad we could finally meet in person. Peter Mosley? We spoke briefly on the phone. And this must be Mr. Simmons. You've made quite a name for yourself, you know. I hadn't heard. We're here to see Burbank. Ah, Burbank. I'm afraid he's a little tied up at the moment. Can I be of assistance? If it's all the same to you, we do need to see Burbank personally. He is expecting us, but, um... We've just come to negotiate a trade, document for document. Ah. This one? I presume so. Obviously, we'll have to check it. Well, in that case, I'm afraid Mr. Burbank is no longer interested in the offer. Sorry to waste your time. We're going in now. Flawless, eh? I don't know who you're trying to fool here. Hand it over. Sadly, I don't think that'll be happening. Hand it over. I'm not asking. You know, Mr. Simmons, you really are extraordinary. I knew my boss was right to choose you. We told you you'd have to kill Charles Jenkins. That is still the case. It's funny how things fit together so smoothly. Hey, Simmons. Now that we're all here, we can all bear witness to the moment where the infamous C.J. Simmons decides his fate. Let's decide this once 